Hi and welcome to another quick, quick short video. This is going to be on Lightning App Builder and how to basically you know maneuver through it. Uh, this is again a new fresh org. Uh, we are in our settings page, so we'll go ahead and we'll look for um, look for Lightning Lightning App Builder. We'll go ahead and select that. Uh, we don't have anything set up right now, so we'll go ahead and just uh, create a new one. We are pretty much stuck with four options right here. Uh, the first option is, you know, we can create a page. Uh, the app page is basically, you know, we can create a tab, but, you know, we'll have an image to it. Uh, it could be used for, you know, third party landing pages. It could be, you know, it's not object specific. Um, so we can go ahead and we can give it an example. So let's just call it tab one. Uh, we'll go ahead next. This is the layout. Uh, just depends on how you want it to kind of, you know, look. Uh, obviously, select something that's, you know, similar to your org that, you know, you have a specific theme you're working with. Uh, for our sake, we're just going to pick something random again. And once we select that, we have our components on the left and some of the little bit of information on the right. So uh, this is, again, I'm just is generic, but, uh, you know, I don't have anything set up. Let's say if we I did, let's, I would put in maybe, you know, report uh, charts, uh, maybe chatter feed, uh, let's say reports and dashboards. I mean, clearly I don't have anything set up. Uh, if you haven't developed, uh, you know, custom components, we, we would have those right here if they were set up uh, and we would be able to, you know, bring in the custom components as well. Um, but we have nothing at the moment, so we'll just leave it as that. Uh, we don't have any dashboards, so even if we try to save it right now, we're pretty much given an error because there's nothing to actually save it with. So we'll just save it without any dashboards. Activation. Um, yes, why not? Let's go ahead and activate it. Uh, we'll activate it for all users. Um, tab. I mean, let's let's call it uh, uh, first app. First app. Um, icon. You know, we can change the icon. Put whatever you want. Uh, you know, we can just select whatever in our Senate for this case. Obviously, you want to look into that when you're setting it up. Uh, and it's activated. Perfect. We'll go save. We'll go back. And here it is. So that's our first, uh, you know, that's our first lightning page. So we'll go ahead and we'll just go on through the next steps. Homepage. Homepage is, you know, once they land on it, uh, let's say they click on that tab, um, what are they going to land on? So let's assume we actually we cancel that. Uh, let's click here. We are looking for, I believe we call the first page. There we go. First app. Um, this is what we're kind of coming forward to. So let's say we want to create a homepage as well. Homepage, we can set up different little keys. We'll call it home. Um, how do we want the whole, you know, layout of it? Maybe we want it like this. We'll go ahead and finish it. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff we can add here. Maybe we want, you know, we want to add some flows in here. We don't have any flows actually, I believe, set up. Um, oh, maybe, okay, let's say we wanted to create case. Uh, but obviously we won't, we won't be able to do any of these things because we it's not in that specific area so we'll just leave that out but you know just just for the scenario okay we, we can't do that as well because <laughs> there's no information we don't have any data in this first short that's why uh, there's a lot of stuff that we can't just uh, you know implement in here but let's assume if we did we can just throw in their performance um, recent items why not key deals uh, we'll just add whatever it is um, again if you had the, you know the custom components we would be able to go ahead and add to it uh, but we we still don't have you know the related list or the data because that goes into um, you know the record so let's assume that we are happy with that why not throw chatter in there as well and we'll go save. Obviously, you want to make sure that uh, you are adding the right components that you want on your homepage, right? So let's say uh, they land on and maybe you want reports and dashboards visible to the sales team. That's maybe what you want to add in there. You know, you want to give them the quarterlies, whatever it is. Um, that's what you want to go ahead and add that here. In our case, we're just going to go ahead and save it because um, we don't really have any data whatsoever. Um, 
then we can we can go ahead and uh, assign it as a uh, or default basically uh, and this is you know we can current default okay so we can go ahead and assign it to that all right so that's activated we'll go ahead we'll save it and um, just give it a refresh that's simple that's fine and we'll go back and this is where we are. We are at our home page. So basically our home page is when you land on, you know, the first thing you basically land on. So, so let's say home page. This is where you're gonna go ahead and end up landing on when you first come into that. Um, with that said, let's create another one. This one's gonna be on our records, right? Maybe let's say now that uh, we have the home page, we have everything. Um, maybe this is case related, so we'll just call it case. And this is object specific, so we do have to select an object now. Um, I think we said case, so let's select the case. Go next, how do you want your layout to be? Um, maybe we want it like this, we'll go ahead and select that. Uh, with that said, right, because it's case, we can go ahead and we can, uh, you know, we can add our related lists, so we can do reports. Uh, whatever the details we want to put in there, record types, wh whatever the information it is that we need, you know, laid out properly. Obviously, this is just generically, I'm just throwing it out there. But uh, definitely you want to make sure that, you know, it's properly laid out, uh, it's matching your theme in your organization. Um, you know, the right information is all there. Uh, and what is more, you know, what is the most important key detail? So, for example, let's say if you need a flow, you know, if you need a screen flow, we can go ahead and we can add that. Maybe you want a path, you know, you have the different stages in your cases that you have to do. Um, we'd go ahead and we'll set that up as well. You know, maybe there's a flow involved as well. So, we'd go ahead and we set those up. So, let's say um, reset password, right? So, maybe it's a reset password. So let's go ahead and we can give that into a save. We'll save that. Uh, okay, we can um, we can go ahead and save it as uh, why not? We'll save it as our org. Do we want to do for all of them? Why not with the phone as well? And um, we'll save it. Obviously, you want to go through. You know, you want to make sure exactly which ones you're saving it to right so that uh you don't kind of disturb whatever is already there maybe you don't want it as your default i'm just setting it up because like i said this is a fresh work so to me it's not really that important i just want to set it up as uh, my default let's go back uh and the last one will be our embedded so in order to have the embedded you actually have to have the embedded service set up it is for service appointments um so you will have to actually have this end up set up, but just so you kind of have an idea what it kind of looks like, we'll click on embedded, and uh, basically you have the arrival times, service appointments, and what what for, and you can keep on adding those. And let's assume we do save that. Well, we don't have anything to actually uh, save it into, so we can't really save it. But if we did, right, we would be you would have to actually have in your embedded setup, so embedded service deployment, and we can go ahead and we can create a new deployment appointment, you know, appointment uh, management, and then we can go next, set everything up. Um, let's just say we're gonna call it test, and you know, if you were, if you actually had a site endpoint, then we'll just set that up, but we don't, we don't actually have anything set up, so that's why. Uh, We'll just leave it at that but if you did have it you would go ahead and we would actually uh, set that up over here um, let's go back into our um, lightning lightning app builder uh, this is where we're at right now and if you do want to change icons well for the tabs we we'll go into our tabs we can change you know the lightning page tab over here we can change the name we can do a lot of a little bit of a details changes here as well uh, this is where we, uh, so once everything's basically set up everything should be up and running right and you would have your um, like we did you would have your uh, first app page and hopefully this kind of helped you out gives you a little bit of an idea 
what sort of things you can do. But um, you know, once you do land on the page, let's say that I like the app page. So this is your first page. This is for third parties. And then if you have a home page, which we can actually set up as our org, you know, defaults, this would be like information, you know, you can make it into reports and dashboards, what is really important. And then, you know, obviously we can have, uh, you know, we can have anything with related to record type. So let's say you have cases and whatnot, we can create those pages and we can go ahead and set those up as well. So hopefully that helped you out and uh, cheers.